All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to more Undisputed. Another request video today. This one's coming from Asim, and he wants to see Terence Crawford. Can we even do this at middleweight? I don't think we can. Oh, well, I don't think we can do it, but uh, he wanted to see Crawford and uh, and Canelo squaring off at me. Am I blind? Am I can't? I'm sure Crawford was a fucking middleweight. No, maybe not then. Who the fuck is he? Well, we can do it at welterweight, mate. That's a... Uh, it's going to have to be at welterweight. 91 Crawford for Canelo's 90. And I think he wants uh, WBC Arena, I think. Undisputed difficulty. Damage modifier up for one and a bit. All right, let's go. Oh, sorry about that, mate. I was going to do that for you there at middleweight, like your request said, but it looks like Crawford's not available at middleweight. I could have sworn that he was. I might be remembering that wrong, but... Oh, well to wait it is. Hello, fight fans. I'm Todd Grisham. Shut up, Todd. No one gives a fuck about you. And here he is, Bud Terence Crawford, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. He also can crack at welterweight. One of the best to ever do it. Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. This is going to be an intense stare-off before the fight starts. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three-division champion of the world, Terence Bud Crawford. Fighting out of the blue corner from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing, here is a four-division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. Oh, listen, when you've got two people that want to fight, two fighters that really dislike each other, you're going to get more than a fight. Thousands of fans here in attendance tonight, but when the bell rings, there will only be two that we're talking about. We All right, so let's time, see if we can't absolutely get murdered by Canelo's power early on. It's defend yourself at all times, and then add the 10% damage at all. buff that the AI has been fucking given since the update, and we're both fucking throwing hammers. We wanted action, and they are delivering. Good counter punch. I really don't want to be in the pocket so much pre with Canelo like surrounding that. this fight. The fans are on the edge of their seats. For that fucking head you damage. Walk into an arena, be the hero. The pressure, the expectation, the, the desire from the fans. You can't get away from it. Ignore them. Lock it off. I know it's hard. I can hardly hear you, Todd. You've got to ignore them. Get on with your job. He got out of the way that right hook. Oh, that was a nice left hook connected there the off that. Right, right straight to the body. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. Oh, you've nice got to be a pro. You've combination there from Crawford. Sometimes when you're fighting a counterfighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. 
This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Bud Crawford. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. The reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. He misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. They both want the knockout. And he misses with that jab. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. It's obvious this fighter is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Oh, both landed on each other hard there. Talk about Bud Crawford. The bell rings and we start the third. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Beautiful counter shot. He misses with that jab. And he just misses with that jab. and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. Oh, it can all come down to do some there. better shape. Oh, oh, right shots to the, the body. If you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Oh, nice right up a cut left up combination there. Stuns Camelo. I thought that was going to be a knock. Oh, my word. Canelo just got clipped. And there it oh, is. Oh, finally. A knockdown punch we knew was After a coming. fucking hailstorm of fucking punches. What we saw we see it the block is motion. broken. And Canelo goes down. Let's talk about Bud Crawford. 
Back at it in round four. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. So that left lands. Oh, big full counter right hook there. Disaster averted, it seems. We continue on. Do you believe what we are seeing? The pound for pound king oh, he's fucking finally gone down. Fucking hell. Thank goodness we've got instant replay. We get to see Oh, a little again. right straight down the middle there. Oh, and a power. Look at him just that wow, that was Nice incredible. counter jab and then a power straight after it, and then. <laughs> Game is fucked it. The fucking power of Christ compels Canelo. And he tries to fucking. You know, like in the UFC when someone just got badly hurt. And they get fucking pounded out, and then they try and take the referee down because <laughs> they're fucking still out of it. That's kind of like what Canelo tried to do there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, they're back up on their feet, but. I'm not sure why. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Let's talk about Bud Crawford. They get one minute. Back into the fray here in round five. It's been a nightmare so far. What can they do to turn this around? I have no idea what they have left. What, how, how do you come back from something like that? Not on twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Nice exchange here from both men. Nice shot with the left. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Oh, hard counter right up, of course. Oh, and a right straight to the body. Drops him again. There's a power right straight to the body there. Impact was incredible. Let's take another look at it. Oh, that's it. Canelo. There's no more. Power straight to the body. You heard that Ends right, the night and for a Alvarez. Victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Thanks very much for your request, Asim. I really appreciate that, mate. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got him out of there early. Wasn't a board in 12 rounder like it normally is. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching everyone. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.